Hello, my name is Christian Walter from TradeVola and today I would like to show you something for the technical uh, chart analysis, how to analyze a chart, which information are available here on TradeStation, how you can use them and how you can bring them to a um, trading setup or to uh, buy or sell some um, stocks um, just to generate like some um, signal. And for this um, I would like to show you all the details um, here on my screen. And if you don't want to miss any video, please subscribe to our channel. To talk about technical analysis, we go to a separate workspace uh, where we already included um, a few standard indicators. Um, we will present this all with the TradeStation Global platform, but it's also possible to use the same, of course, um, with TradeStation Securities, um, TradeStation 10.9 from TradeStation Securities. So this is just an example um, how to use technical analysis, what is important, what is possible, and to uh, give you um, some examples um, how to analyze um, a, chart analy a chart and how to um, yeah, include the right indicators. And sometimes it's, um, I think, the easy indicators or the easy um, drawing objects uh, will help you, I don't want to say, much more than complicated stuff uh, but um, here in this example we have the following indicators included i mean volume it's not like a real um, a real indicator but it's also mentioned here as um, as a technical analysis and it will always give you um, important information if a trend if it's a downtrend like here what we had in the middle of March in the S&P 500 ETF uh, goes with a high volume or if there's not a, um, a big volume coming in an up or down trend. So this is um, always an important information. I think what everyone um, needs to know or wants to see in, um, in a chart analysis itself. And um, the other two main standard indicators which we included here is one um, the ASI and the other one I think everyone knows it and sees it here in the chart um, is um, Bollinger Band. Um, ASI normally gives you an indication if is uh, if a stock um, or asset is um, overbought or oversold. I think the indicator itself um, normally doesn't give you the right um, entry or exit signals or um, let's say a long entry and short selling um, entry um, signals but at least sometimes like we did it here in the s p 500 etf we saw um, at, um, as soon as it's over 80 that this um, was overboard and um, exactly in this moment we had this um, at the beginning of um, i think beginning of september the market was um, going back um, because I think it went too far, too fast in these um, last weeks of um, August. So it helps you a little bit to understand, I think, in the beginning when it's a good sign to maybe um, still go on a trend following position or if it's um, maybe better to wait a little bit. Um, and as I said in the beginning, it's normally not only one indicator. You should um, try to combine um, two, three indicators, which um, especially in indices or in indexes, it will um, help you um, for some main topics. So SI, pretty simple. We have here um, overboard or here as well in the middle of March oversold. What, yeah, in this example, a particular um, matches um, with the correction. Um, here it was a little bit earlier. We just delete the other um, things what we already painted. So it was actually at the end of March where we can see here this was just the beginning of the correction um, and as you can see um, it went up two three days before the coal correction to uh, um, two hundred twenty dollars in the ETF SPY, um, um, and followed after this um, first small correction, um, what we saw here. So, like I said, it will help you. And if um, there's um, a few indicators which you can combine, um, then it makes a little bit more sense. Um, same with the Bollinger Band. 
the idea is um, if um, there's a um, <clears throat> candle outside the Bollinger Band, that it will go back to the other side, like let's say the lower band we have here. So idea is um, if it's going out of the lower band, that it moves back to the other side. If there are um, two, three candles outside of the lower band, then normally um, the trend will, um, that's what the definition says or what um, Bollinger itself um, made as a definition, it will go in this direction. The Bollinger Band as uh, um, analyzes itself, it's pretty simple. Um, the only thing what you need to know, it's a moving average with um, standard deviation, um, what gives the lower and the upper band. And um, I think for me, the most important information in this um, is if we have a very small channel, I would say, or like a small um, range where it's, um, like moving um, between these two bands, then we will know sooner or later we will have a breakout in volatility. So we don't know the direction, but it's exactly what we had end of last year, beginning of this year, there was this very small um, range where the S&P was um, moving between. And then, yeah, we had this um, big breakout and the same what we had here in um, summer, end of summer, it was moving again in a small um, range here before we had the uh, correction to the other side of the band, um, to the lower band. So it will help you to understand maybe a little bit um, more of the movement um, in a stock or like um, any index. And uh, what I said before, it makes for me um, more sense to use some indicators in um, indices or ETFs on indices uh, because we don't have earnings, we don't have like announcements uh, what uh, will cause big um, uh, overnight gaps. So um, in stocks itself, I find it more difficult to use this information. And like I said in the beginning, for me, um, it's I think easier to use um, very simple tools like horizontal lines uh, where you can see the last um, local highs or um, support lines and um, for this we can also make some examples here in the chart and it's the same principle it will work a bit better in um, indices or ATFs like um, here because if um, a lot of people are following, following these um, support lines or resistance lines, however you want to call them, then um, normally um, these tools will also work for everyone. Here's a very good example. Um, the $300 um, dollar was tested in July last year, then again in autumn last year, and then we had a breakout uh, by the end of the year. But yeah went till um, February or beginning of March when we had this huge correction. So um, support and resistant lines, what are easy drawing objects are, I think, um, the easiest and the best way of technical analysis. And especially here in TradeStation, you can combine them with the alert function, what makes it easier for you to get a signal as a pop-up window, as a tone. It's just a right click on this, um, on the resistance or on the horizontal line which you draw here and then you can easily um, um, add in alert so you will just get a pop-up window a tone or an email whatever you would like to have um, to know okay now um, there's a breakout especially for everyone who uh, wants to trade breakout in different asset classes this is a, a very easy and common way to get a notification about it. And what we do here in a chart analysis, analysis for a single um, symbol, um, you can also do it in a radar screen, especially for breakouts. You can um, bring up your um, price levels um, where you want to have a notification or an alert. And um, then the TradeStation platform will send you an email, give you a tone or a pop-up window whenever the price um, break to this uh, resistance line or um, goes under a specific uh, value. So I think 
this is the efficient way to do technical analysis. And after these indicators, RSI and um, Bollinger Band, one thing what also helps me um, in the chart itself is a um, very easy show me function, what we also included here. I don't know if you can see all this um, small blue dots here. This gives you the information about, I will highlight it a little bit for you. Um, this gives you the information about a new yearly high. So especially if you just see um, not the last 12 months or the whole year, we know exactly, ah, okay, here this was the first day, um, mid of August, where the S&P 500 um, was above the price from um, February before the market went down, um, I don't know, about 20, 30 percent. Um, so these are also, of course, um, important resistance or support, uh, resistant lines. And for a breakout, you can see it here very easy and clearly. Um, the next um, 10 days, we had every time a new yearly high and a breakout strategy will work perfect here, depending on your exit. But um, we had at least, um, yeah, let's say $15 um, movement in the direction after the breakout. And the same is for a new um, low course. It's here um, highlighted with red dots below the candle. And there's a really simple information uh, what I want to see in a chart uh, without zooming in or zooming out. I just want to see if this is a new yearly or um, high or a yearly low. You can do the same um, functions also in um, intraday charts where you can see the monthly um, high or monthly low. So you can break out exactly this analysis also to a short term period, period um, what is here um, on a two year, year uh, two years chart, what we see where every candle is um, one day. And to just give you some examples um, that the possibilities are, um, that there are a lot of possibilities for technical chart analysis in this TradeStation Global or TradeStation Securities platform, what is pretty much uh, the same from the indicators and show me is what we have um, here. There's another thing, what is called, I think a lot of people um, are using this, um, Fibonacci tools. We have the price retracements, so I can just simply say, this is a high, this is um, low, and then we have the next high here. And you can see exactly what people used or want to have in a chart analysis, all the Fibonacci numbers with the lines um, in between. And here it's the same what I showed you with a simple horizontal line. You can just include alerts whenever there is um, the price breaking through one of these lines. So for everyone who's having a setup, um, um, maybe in a different um, broker, different platform, um, to create this in an efficient or even in a fully automated way, you can um, use the trade station um, to do so and to make it easier and more efficient uh, in terms of your trading strategies. Um, and another very simple example, what we created um, ourselves, what also comes from the technical analysis side is um, um, pattern, candlestick patterns. Here we have an example of um, eBay. And this is morning and evening star. Um, what is, um, let me find a good example for you. Um, let's zoom in. What is um, a combination of three candles? We have a green um, candle with, a, I would say, not a very big um, body. Then there is a doji or a, like a small um, candle with a very, very small body with a high, uh, or what is like a, a little bit higher than the close course of this um, first green candle. I think you will find it everywhere in the definition. This is the second candle doji or a candle with a small body. And then this correction as a big <coughs> red candle, <coughs> sorry, a big red candle with a very um, um, big body. And this is normally considered um, as a um, short signal um, because normally the definition is, this is goes um, um, more in this direction. 
And to check this in a chart, um, you can also include these indicators which we programmed uh, for our clients, but the more efficient way and uh, the way I think what is um, very useful, what I mentioned in the beginning is to include these in, um, in radar screen where you can screen like um, more than three 400 um, symbols in the same way, depending if you are using TradeStation Global or TradeStation Securities, and then you will get um, an information about um, every signal for yeah, the different symbols which you were included there. For example, to show you how this looks like, I can open a new workspace where we already implemented a few indicators like this. Just a second. So just to show you an example, I would have the radar screen here just with some equities and some forex symbols, and it's exactly the same what we had in the um, chart analysis. I can um, include RSI. I can include everything what we had um, for resistant lines or even evening or morning stars, all the candlestick patterns, um, what you would like to see. We can add this here and then the radar screen will give you a signal or a sim, um, an alert if there's any of these um, candlestick combinations what you normally need to check yeah, with your own eyes manually in the um, chart. So I think the next level is always to use radar screen um, and different intervals to do exactly the same um, what you normally do in a chart analysis just on like 10, 20, 40, 50 um, symbols uh, or on your favorite stock list uh, which you would like to screen for special signals. I hope you found some um, important information for your own trading setup in this uh, video. If there's anything else from your side, um, any question, feel free to contact us. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to not miss any of our up upcoming videos regarding indicators and strategies and how to use um, trading platforms in the right way. Thank you very much.